today we will show you how to install Sophos and how we will get the GUI mode so first we have to uh, open our evng uh, vmware uh, after that uh, we logging to win scp so i am already logging to win scp and after that we need to upload shopos uh, os uh, to enter the um, evng so now i am uploading uh, uh, shopos uh, ios to my uh, qv file so you have to upload it uh, uh, this uh, ios uh, uh, from here root opt and tab in tab uh, add-ons and qv in qv we will upload it the um, shopos firewall and after that we have to give it permission so i am giving permission okay so permission is done now i have to open my evng so my evng is 192.168.128 so i have already set my password so this is my previous lab so i am on i will go to you the new how to configure my shofos so here uh, i have selected shofos xg all by uh, uh, keep it by default save it now i have to connect it with port b so here is uh, some different uh, uh, to con uh, to configure it uh, so that's uh, okay so i am uh, power off this device now i am going to uh, power on the new show host it will take some time not so much so double click on it open the vnc so guys uh, if you want to download the ios so go to description i will provide the link of the ios so it will take some time not uh, so much installing default config I am selecting it in port B because uh, by default it is a uh, configure uh, DSCP in port B. So I am selecting here port B. So guys, so we have get an error here. RAM size lower than minimum required 3600 MB. So um, first we have to change the RAM size. We will keep it uh, 4 GB RAM so first i have to stop it after that go to right click and go to edit and after that you, you uh, change the ram 4096 4 gb ram okay and start again and after that double click on it so let's see how zero have been come or not So guys, see no error has been come out. So by default, is uh, uh, user admin password is admin. Uh, after that, uh, we have to select shift a mm, so we are now yeah, we have to configure the ip address and press one enter again one enter and we see the by default port a is lan and its ip is 172.16.16.16 now press enter to continue and we get it that port b is one and by uh, default uh, dsb is enabled on that port and we get uh, the by default uh, ip address uh, on that interface and by default gateway also get so um, enter continue um, set ip for uh, no no so here 
nothing to do now we go to the our web browser uh, 1666 and uh, port number is here it's working on https so just try to https but no interior is coming so we can do it uh, we again stop uh, this and uh, suppose and uh, we will get a, a pc so that we can get our gui mode for configure so we select here put here okay now power on the device Uh, wait some time so that uh, what is coming so double click on it and go to the windows still now my windows not come up so enter the password on to sorry so enter the password one two and three Uh, we start later. Go to control panel. Mm, go to method. Select adapter. And how to say? Let's see. Uh, by default. So we have to configure the IP address here. So we can edit it. Manually have to give an IP address 172 16 Sorry, and the gateway is my LAN IP address 172 16. 16 and 16 press ok ok so it should connect it let's see what's happened ok my lane also connected now i have to open the browser uh, to give the ip address on 72.16.16.16 Enter, so it's not working. Let's edit it and HTTPS and again enter. So it's still now, it's not working. Let's try to ping, give ping my gateway addresses. Okay, or not on seven two dot sixteen dot six. Okay, I'm able to reach my gateway and reload it.
so guys my uh, it's in come up it will take some time after configuring so now I'll click on advance and press to continue Uh, I have set set up. So you have to give it a new password. Was the run C double five zero A? Okay, let us find automatically and check it. Now I nod, don't need automatically. Okay. Now need to manual configuration. Select continue. Yes, with the name of the spiral, I'm giving the any name you can give it so use evolution time i'm check on it press continue and we choose the gateway port a okay no problem network line configuration port a all is okay okay it is reasonable by default, keep it by default. Let's continue. And let's see what's happened in this configuration. We have also need some changes so that we can enable it. So click it by default actually. Let's continue. Uh, give an email address. This is important actually. Okay, continue. Finish. The graphics setup has been completed. Let's see what is that. It will take some time. Okay. So, finishing has been done. Please wait a few minutes for changing the applied. It will take uh, another some time to up the interface. Okay, we already come up the interface. So type username admin and password 04716503 and press enter to login. So we hope we will be able to log in our shogos. So we want to enable it uh, uh, this uh, port actually.
port B. So you can uh, uh, able to access this through 192.168.4.166. So now we have to some changes uh, uh, into the uh, firewall. Mm, by default, actually, okay, for now, now mm, go to the network section. Mm, and uh, we have to enable it uh, port B. Let's click on drone we can see here the one port has not been configured yet uh, anything so we have to configure the one port first so we have to enable it as gps so ping that's enough to coming up the mm, interface in one port we have to save it here Mm, successfully updated so let's try on it here this come up on what yes it's successfully done so i am going to close uh, my lan pc and click on it mm. yes uh, my remote is comes out on my uh, web browser so that's it.